Hi there YouTube, my name's Michael and this is Mike's Mike. I thought I'd start this channel off with a video about a series that I've sunk more time into than just about any other. I'm talking of course about Street Fighter. Everyone knows Street Fighter, right? A game designed to milk money out of kids' arcades worldwide. It was a game with an insane difficulty curve, and if you weren't good enough, the game would berate you to make sure you knew exactly how terrible you were. Seeing you in action is a joke? The fuck's that meant to me? For many people, that's all there is to it. It's a fighting game. There isn't any story, right? The easiest way to talk about Street Fighter is to tell it through the eyes of a character. For the purposes of this video, and largely because he's seen as the main protagonist of the series, we're going to go with Ryu. Now, before the games even start, there's a little bit of backstory to go through. Ryu was orphaned, with no memories of his parents. He was found and trained by a martial arts master called Gokin, who also trained his best friend's spoiled son, Ken Masters. During their training together, Ken and Ryu became friends, with Gokin being a father figure for Ryu. At 23, Gokin told Ryu to go travel the world and test his martial arts skills. Ryu enters the First World Warrior Tournament, fighting his way through the competitors until he eventually reaches its host, Sagat. Sagat proceeds to beat the shit out of Ryu. Thinking he'd won, Sagat drops his guard and goes to help Ryu up. At this point, Ryu is engulfed by the Satsui no Hado, a dark power that consumes him, and Ryu ends up not only nearly killing Sagat with a Shoryuken, but gives him that sweet ass scar on his chest. Nice! Ryu leaves Sagat, and returns home to find Gokin murdered by some guy named Akuma. Ryu travels the world hoping to find Akuma, which he eventually does on the secluded island of Gokento. He even manages to win, but Akuma? <laughs> Akuma was only testing Ryu, saying that he senses the Satsui no Hado within Ryu and proceeds to tell him what the Satsui no Hado is, a power that consumes practitioners of Shotokan, their shared fighting style, which drives them to win at any cost, even killing your opponent. Then, Akuma being the badass that he is, smashes the island with his fist and leaves Ryu stranded in the ocean. Somehow, Ryu makes it off the island and sometime later fights Ken and... loses. Ken sees that Ryu isn't himself and in fact hasn't been since nearly killing Sagat. At this point, Ken gives Ryu his now signature hairband as a reminder for Ryu to stay focused. Enter Sakura. She's this Ryu fangirl who pretty much soaks her panties around Ryu and begs to train under Ryu. Ryu nopes the fuck out of there while gracefully leaving the excuse that he himself still has much to learn. But Sakura still somehow manages to take a picture of him before he moves on. Sometime later, Sagat comes back and challenges Ryu to a rematch. Ryu is against this idea, as Sagat still hasn't recovered from the fucking huge beatdown Ryu gave him with the Satsui no Hado. Sagat persists and wins the fight against Ryu. This is because Ryu let himself get the shit kicked out of him, not wanting to cause any further damage to Sagat. Sagat later realises this, and makes a vow to fight him once again. Two years later, Ryu, still burdened by what Akuma told him, has a fight with Rose, a powerful psychic with ties to M. Bison. She tells him he can't defeat Bison without it costing him his soul. Ryu fights Bison and 
unsurprisingly loses. So Bison takes the barely conscious Ryu and brainwashes him, discovering that the Satsui no Hado is akin to Bison's own psycho power. During the brainwashing, Sagat, Ken and Sakura all make their entrance, having followed Ryu for their own individual reasons. Ken and Sakura distract Bison, while Sagat fights the brainwashed Ryu. Sagat manages to help Ryu overcome the brainwashing, and together the four of them destroy M. Fucking Bison. Temporarily. Okay, everyone has played this game, so I'm not going to dwell on it too much, but Ryu and Ken enter the second World Warrior tournament. In Ryu's ending, he leaves the tournament after beating Bison and visits Gouken's grave to tell him about his adventures and fights, before leaving in search of the ultimate fight. Okay, so sometime between Street Fighter 2 and 3, Ryu enters another tournament to kick ass and take names, and hang out with Ken, and he meets up with Sakura who he tells to train harder and he rematches Sagat, eventually leading up to fighting the tournament's host, a blue guy named Seth who is an advanced clone of M. Bison and is hoping to lure Ryu into a fight and get him to use the Satsui no Hado on this machine called Bleece that harnesses the energy in the human body. Ryu beats Seth in the Shadowloo headquarters, the whole place collapses and predictably Ryu uses the Satsui no Hado on the police machine. Sakura, who is searching for Ryu like a lost puppy, finds him and the police, and a pulse of energy hits her and sends her into the wall. Ryu, snapping out of it, and like the gentleman he is, Sho Ryukens the fucking police machine, and they leave the building together, police and Shadowloo destroyed. The end. Except Gouken. You know, Ryu and Ken's master? He comes back and reveals that he survived the battle with Akuma all those years ago. He then uses the power of nothingness to seal away the Satsui no Hado that's been consuming Ryu from the inside, which knocks Ryu the fuck out. Akuma then flashes back into existence and challenges his brother, yep, Gouken and Akuma are brothers, to a duel to the death. The winner of which would claim the cup. We can assume from the fact that we later see Ryu free of the Satsui no Hado's influence that either Gouken won or the battle ended in a draw, or was interrupted. You get the idea. Afterwards, Ken and Ryu chase Gouken along a cliff with Ken wanting his master to stick around, while Ryu, at peace for the first time, wishes him well. I would go into detail about Street Fighter 3, but in all honesty, Nothing much happens to Ryu, he fights some more and becomes a guy from Final Fight's tag team partner temporarily. I mean, who gives a shit? Wow, talk about a journey. From beginning to end, Ryu experiences loss and has to go through finding a sense of purpose. This is one character of a roster of damn near 50 now, and almost every one of them has just an engaging a story. This only covers the main series games, and even then, there's different variations. Still though, I hope you've all enjoyed this, and if you'd like more, or you want to voice your opinion on something I've said, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time guys, my name's Michael, this has been Mike's Mike, I'll catch you all later. Have a good night. You too. All right. See you later. See you later. Cheers. Seeing you in action is a joke. Seeing you in action is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Woo.